like this is a continuation for the video I made yesterday about the best job for men. I mean the hardworking men coming to Canada. Maybe you're coming with your family or you're here alone and you have family back home. You have so many responsibilities to, you know, on your neck. I understand. So now let me, I will not advise you to do a minimum wage job. A minimum wage job will take you, a minimum wage jobs are for students or for new immigrants just to pass over. I've done it before and I'll say it, if you get employed in a minimum wage company, maybe you are doing, uh, you did a minimum wage job or, you know, just be there at worst a month let's say okay at worst two months because a minimum wage job will not might not even take care of your family you know in buying essential stores when a minimum wage job will not pay your house rent make we no lie after you know food after removing your feeding transportation and everything there's not nothing nothing you will have nothing left to pay your house rent minimum wage jobs are for students or housewife that just need something to bypass with that's why you see that most of these people you see working in a minimum working minimum wage jobs are housewives students grandma grandpa and all that so now I will, these are the list of jobs I think I, I will advise you if you can learn it back home before coming fine it's good if you cannot learn it as soon as you get here try and learn it as soon as you get here try and go for this course try and go for the course you can get the certification within a month this the one I want to mention now the, you can get the certification within 30 days and the first job I'll mention is um, get a class 3 certification as soon as you get here. If you are a man coming into the country, try and get a class 3 certification. A class 3 certification, uh, uh, class 3 drivers uh, are, drive, uh, this, uh, are, uh, are any drivers that, uh, that can drive air brake, you know, like um, six tire, I don't know, or all this small truck, school bus, uh, normal bus and all that. So now any vehicle with air brake. So now, so that is class three. So with a class three uh, license, you will earn nothing less than twenty five thirty. Twenty five as a new driver, class three, and a class three education. You get it done. You get your class three within thirty days in the country. Just within 30, class 3 takes 30 days to get, you know, to, you know, to pass. They will teach you and uh, even if you can't drive it before, they will guide you. Then you go for your test. Then I believe as a Nigerian, as an African, definitely you will, de you will pass it and you go. So now, and the second one is, why did not mention class 1? Class 1 are truck drivers. So why I did not mention is uh, class one takes six months. So six months is a long period. But with the class three, then after driving class three for a while, then you can go for class one. Then I think if you have a class three, then and you want to proceed there, it will only take three months. So it won't be six months as before. So I might be wrong. So now, but I think so. But if you want to go for class one straight, it's six months six month training and also with class three you can with a class three license is a pathway to resident a permanent resident check the last draw the last week draw so the most uh, people they picked for pr are class one class three you know truck driver class three light drivers and everything so now and the second one i would like to add on this i don't want this video to be long come at hold on please so now the the second uh, job i would like to add is tire technician 
tire technician are just for organizer. We call them for organizer in Nigeria. If there's any Nigerian watching me. But here we call them tire technician. If you can every we all know how to change tire. We all have vehicle back home. I believe you you know people coming to Canada, any man coming to Canada is wealthy, is rich back home. So if you can change your vehicle tire, you are a tire technician. And it doesn't need any special license or anything here in Canada. You can change it. As soon as you get there, look for any tire change shops around you. Then go there, tell them you want to learn it. It's just some few days they'll teach you and they will employ you. The secret is that most of these shops are even looking for people to employ. So they are looking for people and to employ. So now the last one I would like to add is, uh, what's it called, loader, like heavy duty loader, like what we call loader, I don't know how to mention this loader, is that, you know, load, loader machine, like excavator, but the one with front loader where they use uh, doing in construction of road and everything. I will tell you most of these machines, or let me just mention excavator and loader. So most of these machines are very very easy to drive ask any loader driver ask any excavator driver excavator is very easy i will say it anywhere that it is the most easiest machine to drive even a 17 years old can drive it very 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 easy just go front press back all the especially here i don't know how, about nigeria or you know the old um kind of machines and everything yeah most of their machine here yeah, has 360 camera so you are even looking at everywhere right there. it has uh, ac it has uh it, ha it has everything so nobody taught me how to drive Mommy. excavator how to I drive a loader it. we call it uh, john deere active loader very big a, a john deere active loader tire is bigger than me. I always say this: the bigger the machine, the easier the, the, uh, to, to operate. The bigger the machine, and the easier it will be very easy. The smaller the machine, the harder the drive and everything. But the bigger the machine, the easy, very very easy to drive. So now I will end this video with this and if you want me to add more or you have any question just drop it as a comment below and please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you